Hello and welcome to another bumper packed Dev Hangout. Uh, we have lots and lots to share with you today. Um, we are in preparations for the launch of Folktale Patch 0.3 uh, in early May, possibly sooner, maybe end of this month. We'll see how it goes. In today's stream, uh, we're going to start with um, the new Sandbox tutorial, which has been put together using Workbench, which is our visual modding tool that's integrated into the editor. Um, and we'll be taking a look at how we've gone about setting that up uh, later in the stream. Uh, and after we finish playing the tutorial, we'll carry on and we'll also take a look at building upgrades, tier two and tier three building upgrades. Um, which is quite a lot of content. Now, little disclaimer before we start, this is uh, the latest dev build. It was built a couple of hours ago. Um, so there are content glitches and there's probably a few bugs, but uh, you know, fingers crossed everything should go smoothly during the stream. All right, so without ado, let's uh, crack on. I'm going to jump into the game. Uh, I'm going to start a new game um, because I'm going to fire up the uh, tutorial file. I'll also apologise in advance if I'm coughing or anything. I've still got a cold from about four weeks ago. All right, so going to um, load in the tutorial. Uh, and while that's loading, I better just fade down the music. And we'll use the in-game music instead. All right. Now... It's not voiced at the moment, although we will um, be recording that hopefully soon. Uh, Trent Dane, who provides the voice of the advisor, is in stream, uh, so maybe he'll be able to um, confirm his availability. But the lines that you see appearing in the uh, bottom box, they'll actually be voiced as well, but for now they're just coming up in uh, text. And we've got a placeholder graphic. Uh, this is actually Sir Gregory, one of Sir Gregory's ability. Uh, abilities, but that will be uh, the advisor image, or it could be any one of the NPCs. Uh, so basically, anybody that talks. So, because we have branching um, quest line uh, in Workbench, you can actually choose from a number of options. But for the tutorial, um, we've just got a couple. Well, one really at the moment, just to progress it. Uh, so you may be familiar with the sort of start. I'm just going to jump ahead. Um, it's saying the first thing that we've got to do uh, is place down our supply wagon. And it goes ahead and, you know, basically it, it walks us through the basic mechanics of Folktale. So it's really designed for players that, you know, don't follow the dev streams, um, aren't active on the forums. They, you know, they haven't checked the game for a while. They um, download an update, jump in and they go, ah, what am I doing? So this tutorial is very much for them. So uh, there might not necessarily be anything for you guys in the stream. However, I think when we swap to Workbench and you see how it's all put together, then your eyes will start to sparkle. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and build our supply wagon. And we'll see that in the top right, we've actually got what our quest is. And eventually we'll connect that to a quest log or a journal. Um, so you'll, if you missed any of the text, there'll be a summary in your journal that you'll be able to click on and it will open up and you'll be able to review that. But for now, let's go on. Now, placing this should um, progress the quest. A building has been constructed. All right, and you see that it's ticked there. Um, we'll progress it. And it's now asking us to forage um, some berries. So as soon as I accept this, it's basically going to give me a quest. Uh, and yep. I'll go ahead and do this. Now, if you remember before, uh, in the patch that's live on Steam at the moment, if you were sending... Um, characters to clear any resources. There was a first of all, there was a delay of about 500 milliseconds, something like that, uh, and they would walk. So we fixed that now. Here. So there's no delay, and they run. So all right, my love. they're all much right. more responsive. Oops, right I don't want them to do that. Um, they're much more responsive, which is good, because otherwise you're sort of cheating yes, and you're clicking on the ground nearby and then telling them to go and clear the resource. So we fixed that up. Uh, Donnie is asking, what is the purpose of the random place lanterns in the map? Uh, there is no purpose at the moment. Um, <clears throat> there's a bug at the moment that roads aren't being serialised, but we should be able to fix that soon. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do now. So let's put some uh, roads in. So maybe... Um, 
send one through the fields this way. And I don't know, one more. I'll send it this way. Oops. Okay, there we go. So now we've got some roads. Okay, before we can construct our first building, we're going to need more planks. So we want one or more peasants selected, right click on the nearby tree to command them to start chopping. Alright. Peasants will carry logs back to the supply wagon where they will be converted into planks of firewood. We'll need 25 planks to, to construct a woodcutter hut. Our current store of planks is shown on the top bar. And there it is, and it's just ticked up to 30. Chop 25 planks. Well, they've been busy while I've been talking, so our quest is already completed, so we can go on to the next one. Uh, and it's asking us to place a woodcutter hut, and it's telling us how to do that. But I won't bother covering that in this uh, this particular stream, because you've all seen it before. So let's go ahead and choose our woodcutter. Uh, and now, of course, you can see <clears throat> what resources are going to get cleared if I place it down. So they've all just been cleared there now. There is a bug at the moment that it doesn't uh, cancel whatever work is going on in the workstation. But we'll fix that. Uh, okay, so they will begin work on that as soon as they finish How what they're I doing. Help? So this person, uh, who is that, Emmeline, they the unlikely. We've got them there, and there, that's it. Now they're finishing whatever job that they've got, and then they're going ahead um, and helping out with construction of our woodcutter hut. Now, the, in terms of the, the dialogue box at the bottom, that will be used for quest progression and dialogue. Construction so, completed. So you will be able to have two characters talking. To, uh, talking. Um, so, for example, uh, Lilith in The Withering Dead may be having an argument with Willow from The Glade Folk. Um, so Lilith might be on the left, and then on the right we'll have Willow. And the two will step back and forwards, and then you can always intervene and, and offer one of the options that we present to you. Okay, so it's now asking us to train uh, two woodcutters, what which now? we'll do. So let's grab you Something to do? and you go ahead and train. <coughs> All right. We've only got so far through the tutorial at the moment. We've been really testing it and making sure that a lot of loopholes are uh, closed. Uh, so it's asking us to build two cottages, so we'll go ahead and do that quickly. So placement is a, is a lot easier since uh, you know, a few patches ago. You can actually build over things now and not get it blocked. If you guys have got any questions for me, then please start your questions with App Games Foundry, and then it'll highlight and uh, I'm more likely to see it. Apologies if I do miss your question during the stream. It depends how busy it gets. So you can also have multiple quests. It doesn't happen in the tutorial, but you can have uh, multiple quests. And as I said, you'll be able to click into your uh, quest journal eventually. Uh, and you'll be able to do things like in, when you're setting up quests, if you're into map designing, you'll be able to set what rewards Building there are completed. Um, given. There's none of that in the tutorial at the moment, but I think uh, once it's implemented, we'll, we'll do that. Right, it should get a little bit quicker now that we've got. Um, we should get some new peasants arriving. Triggers, yes, we will cover triggers. I think probably in the last third of the stream, uh, we'll go in and take a look at that. Uh, I must admit, I've not used the huge mount, um, but hopefully, uh, Aaron will join us in the stream if I've got any questions. Building completed. Uh, Donius, I'll ask you your question shortly. Just give me a second. All right, so super. With our first cottages complete, villages were now. All right, so that's just saying about population expansion. And um, that they will carry fire. New settlers have arrived. And top up when they run. So they need something more substantial. So let's go ahead. Now, this is a multi part uh, quest. So it's saying build a, f uh, a fishing hut. All right, so let's go ahead, plumb one down there. New villagers have arrived. Good. Yes, Get to work, Matilda. 
Uh, what kind of quests will be likely to uh, so, sorry? What kind of quests will we likely to see aside from the tutorial? <coughs> we, um, for a while now, have been writing uh, scripts. Our for village each one has of, attracted new settlers. For scripts for each one of the factions, um, and it's quite a lot of that. Uh, and I imagine that sort of each um, biome that has a building two factions has been will take about an hour to play through to complete all of those. And that's all going to be voice acted um, and set up. So there's there's quite it's that con uh, campaign like feel um, that a lot of folks have been sort of complaining that you know they're thinking that it was missing and stuff. And we're now getting to the point um, where we're not far off being able to implement that. So with the advent of or the addition of Workbench, we're now in a position to be able to add in some of that RPG content into the game. So expect that to start landing. Uh, you know, in the next couple of months. All right, my love. All right, so trainer fisher. There you go, a trainer fisher. Construct a windmill. Uh, I probably yes, don't have enough okay. Iron, so let's set them to work. saying about fields so we'll construct two fields now this I don't think I'll have no I know I haven't got enough wood for it because it's 50 wood per field for the fencing uh... <laughs> have the goths hanging around out uh, sorry have the goths hanging out around the graveyard being implemented yet <laughs> no they haven't uh, so the roads not being there is a bug. Yes, it is. It's just I think it's the serialization. Um, I'm hoping it'll get fixed in time for the next patch, so we can put roads back in. Obviously, in time. Construction completed. We'd like to put it into the UI so that you can build roads, and I think that's probably going to become quite important quite soon. So you can start more formally structuring your um, village early on. All right, so let's go ahead. We go. don't have enough planks to do that. Well, well, let's speed that up. <clears throat> For the purpose of the stream, we'll speed up. Let's uh, get several people on wood chopping duty. The smoke was changed. Uh, when was it changed? Quite a while back, I think. I don't think it was in this patch. Yeah, building bridges would be sweet. Um, we'll have to see. I think that's something that we'll leave until later in development once all the RPG content's in. Yeah, Donio, so I also like to build beside roads. Roads are fairly important. <clears throat> I'd like to be able to build different types of roads, so, you know, dirt path being the, the simplest and cheapest form, and then. Um, stone path being more expensive. I don't know if we could have straw path. We have straw path. I don't know. Right. Oh, we've got loads of wood now. Let's so crack on. Build these. So I just need six more wood, which they're about to drop off there. All right, there we go. Get to work, guys. Uh, Trent, I have not played that. Um, there are a lot of cool-looking games that uh, I just don't get the time to play. Building completed. And I have to excuse me while I suck a throat lodging, lozenge. Hmm. City beautification Building is something that's completed. planned um, with the carpenter. But because it's just cosmetic, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be cosmetic. It could improve happiness of 
um, your villagers, but it's something that we're leaving till later. All right, train a farmer. No problem, boss. Uh -huh. All right, so that's just telling me to set. I tell you what we'll do. We build another one. Build a bakery close to our windmill. All right. And I've got enough for it as well. <laughs> Hopefully I won't, I won't choke Tread. I can spot during the stream a couple of bugs that we know about <clears throat> that we still need to fix, but I'm not going to highlight what they are. We changed the way that um, inventory and gear worked recently and it, it's broken a few things. A building has been constructed. Upgrading roads. Hmm. That I don't know about at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't designed that on paper. We'll figure it out one way or another. Hmm. In terms of the dialogue, more colours and things. Um, it doesn't at the moment because we tested for it, but it should allow us to, um, not just us, but anybody designing in Workbench to actually put colour coding, a bit like HTML, uh, into your text, so if you want to add colour you can, but mm, you know, too much colour looks a bit like I don't know, My Little Pony Rainbow or something. When will the stables be shown? Not in this stream, however we have added the cavalry, Cav cavalry carrot. Alright. One of our team that was in the military was always saying about how we meant to say cavalry, but I'm going to say it out of English, say it's a cavalry. Construction completed. Um, they're on the website, anyway. Which we can, uh... God, that's small. Just give me a second. Professions. So we've added that to the website now. Uh, they are animated as well, so they'll be coming soonish. So many things in par parallel could happen there. Anyway, back to the game. All right, build a well. So the well's not really implemented at the moment, but it is in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and give them a well. So the idea with the well is that you'll pump. Uh, I think we get given it in shortly, but <clears throat> um, villagers will pump buckets of water up. So there'll be, I don't know, maybe five buckets ready. Uh, and they'll come and get, if there's five, they'll come and grab one and just head off. I think maybe if they take the last one, then they'll stand and actually pump five more. Building completed. That's the plan, anyway. All right, train a baker. How can I help? Come on, Millicent. Training this person will leave you without any oh, peasants. Okay, right. That's because I took a shortcut, didn't I? I didn't follow the tutorial. So let's demote a few woodcutters. way. Oh, I don't think they were there before, were they? The locked ones. T2, T3. I'm going to te tease everybody and put a barracks down. Alright, here we go. I've taken the Villagers liberty of are purchasing... in need of vegetables. Trench. I've taken the liberty of purchasing a few sacks of flour and pumped a few buckets of water to save time, adding them to your inventory. 
Uh, oh, well, the flour's gone and looks like they're already producing bread. But here are our buckets of water. Yes, they are. There's the bread. All right. So I'm just going to skip forward. <clears throat> it's stuff you've seen me do a million times before in stream, but uh, it's to help people that don't watch you know, videos. Have you given more thought on forestry automation? Yes, we have. Um, I think the next step is... Villagers are in need of bread. It's coming. Look. Two. Um, the next step is, if, if planting seeds isn't enough, then we have to make trees grow back uncleared trees so these for example grow back over time I think that's a likely step so the answer is yes we have given more time to all right let me crack on place the sun too much down that even saved a little space Just flip it around that way I think I'll insert building another cottage into the tutorial. Let's pop one down there, right next to our woodcutter's hut. Could fire break out in your village? Yes, it could. There's a hint there. Something planned for the future. should suck this lodgings more quietly, shouldn't I? I do apologise. Well, on the subject of fire, that's also one of the reasons why you need to place your wells around your village. Because if there's a fire, if you remember the old tutorial, that is still available, folks, if you go and check on the, on the website. No, not the website, on the forum. Building complete. They would run, there was a fire. After the goblins had, been, had invaded, <coughs> and they ran and got buckets from the well, so that's that's one of the purposes of the well, aside from brewing and brewing, putting out fires, po uh, potion making, and making bread. Anyway, what did I say? Right, trainer hunter. Uh, we'll also be adding uh, location markers onto this for the quest system. so that you'll be able to click on it and it will take you to the camera there. So much like camera framing happens at the moment, so if I'm over here and I get a quest, I can click on a little magnifying glass when I've added it and it will take me to that point. A building has been constructed. Okay. Good, because I probably need the peasants. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Come on, Simon, on the bottom. Oh, look, I've got lots of people there. Extra two people. All right, good. The next part of the economy chain is to build and train. Uh, build a buttery and train. New settlers butcher. have arrived. So let's go and do that. We need 100 iron, so let's use the F key to find... Uh, you. A woman's work is never done. Be right there, darling. Go and mine that. Something to do? You go and mine busy, but busy. find your own. So I clicked on that one, but she'll go and find her own because the other one's occupied. New villagers have yes. arrived. Good. Yeah, and we don't want stone at the moment. Okay. Just go and find the nearest one of those. I guess it's over there. All right. Let's take the camera around. <coughs> Our village has attracted new settlers. Woo! Uh, right. So hurry up with the ore. Twenty ore. Yes, petal. Gloriana just delivered ten. All right, my love. And Beatrix, the underhand, is just delivered another ten. What was it? Butchery. Hundred. Wow. That's a lot. So I've still got to tweak the tutorial to make sure that. Um, you're getting the resources that you need. 
That's obviously a lot. Do I use them somewhere else? Cottages don't cost iron, do they? No. Hmm. Not quite sure where it's gone. Oh, let's uh, set those to carrots because I don't think we'll be getting any vegetables. No, we're not. Hey, Kimball. Uh, we're up to 60 already. So I'll just set your expectation with building upgrades, which we'll be coming on to shortly. Um, and we've got all the assets in. There are obviously going to be glitches with those assets which we're fixing up. Um, we've got things like nav mesh cuts, make sure that that's all working, colliders. So there's quite a lot of work that we have had to do to get that up and working. Um, some of the visuals I think now, like the, the tier 3, I think we'll want to tweak as well. But uh, And it's at the moment it's instant. So what we'll probably do is we'll either, when you upgrade the building, like the health will double and they'll have to come and repair the building up and then when it reaches full health it'll upgrade and you'll have a puff of smoke at least for the time being um, or we'll have a progress bar in the upgrade so for example here if I click upgrade we might have a progress bar so we'll see one of the two uh, have you thought about what things should drop seeds and how you should get them Oh, isn't it typical? Excuse me. Um, let's see. Actually, can you just bear with me a second? I'll be right back. I just have to check something. Um, oh, that's a bug. Have you thought about what things should drop seeds or how you should get them? Or will you stick with creatures dropping them? Uh, no, I've not given it any more thoughts at the moment. Uh, I've been so busy trying to get the upgrades and they tutorialed them. Um, so no, I haven't. It's obviously an issue that we need to think through and get fixed, but that's something for next week probably. Right, we've got enough. We've got enough now. So let's get our but uh, butchery down. No, but uh, butchery is here, isn't it? you feel about placing more importance on villagers' personal inventories? The forester could pick up seeds after cutting a tree, keep it in his inventory, then plant it in an area later. Uh, well, what, one thing the community suggested is, you know, um, that trees drop the drop seeds. So that is one possibility. Uh, personal inventories, I... Mm, uh, don't know about that because it might conflict with sort of how Instruction all completed. the other inventory mechanics work. Uh, scouts could be given rations. Yeah, I think that's too much micromanagement what you're suggesting there, Streamer, but uh, it's better if it comes straight out of a central inventory. Alright, train a butcher. Let's get a butcher. Yep. You. Come on, butcher. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so... Uh, blacksmiths and stonecutters work in a similar way to woodcutters, clearing land of iron ore deposits and stone, or working in sustainable iron mines and quarries. Whoa, camera pan or no, frame. There's an iron mine close to our village, but it looks like a pesky band of cobalt scavengers made camp there. 
We'll have to deal with them first before we can stake a claim to the mine. Select several villagers and right click on the cobalt to begin the attack. Kill them. Cobalt scavengers. All right. Yeah. <coughs> yes, my dear. My <coughs> they are fairly weak, so we just On need my a few. Way. Ta -ta. So let's use command uh, attack move, and they'll go and take care of these guys. Right. Let's go over here. Oh, where are you going? All right. <coughs> so that's as far as we've got with the the uh, tutorial. <clears throat> no research. Well, uh, <coughs> that's another task on this is research um, effects. They won't have changed from what's currently on Steam in this build. Okay, the end <coughs> of the tutorial. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to build a couple more buildings. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll have. Plonk Weaver's Hut here, and of course we need some fields, so I'll give them a few fields. Building completed. Maybe I'll get another cottage as well. Oh, I want to have one. So let's put that there. Probably not bothered about that. Uh, iron ore deposit. Uh, could you make Building it where you complete. get like 20 wood stone? or for every quest you complete that way. Yeah, so that is one option that we've got with um, workbenches to set it up so that you get the resources. Uh, a building has been constructed. Rewards, which will be given to you in the dialogue. So at the bottom of the conversation dialogue, the list of rewards will be listed uh, shown there as icons. All right, so let's not forget to set these to cotton fields. And let's hire Beatrix. Beatrix the Underhand is now our weaver, and we have updated the weaver. So the spools of cotton are now on, and we've got our uh, weaving, what do you call Not spinning jelly, weaving bench. Uh, Construction it completed. It was a long, long time ago that I studied the Industrial Revolution. Uh, okay. Some other things that. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Things. We've actually got our signs are animated there. Uh, let's put down the stone cutter. Let's have one of those. New settlers have arrived. New villagers have arrived. We don't have enough stone blocks to do that. All right, well, we will have soon because I'm working on it. <clears throat> We've got some flicker at the moment on mud. You may have seen it over in the um, woodcutter's hut. Just ignore that for now, it'll be fixed. Can I show workbench for this has level? Attracted yeah, new settlers. I can. It goes on some way. Building though. completed. Keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going. Yeah. <clears throat> and it keeps going. <laughs> and it keeps going. Yeah. I like space to keep it organised. So my work, uh, my workbenches are fairly big. Okay. Hmm. So you set to work. 
We've updated the animations on this though now that um, hoppers are properly in. Oops, looks like we've got a bug there. A cog that's rotating around. All right, a couple of glitches to fix anyway, but. Good, you're plus that cotton field, you're doing that, so let's get a tailor. Good, we've got enough, we should probably build that fairly close, I would say. Alright, let's have it there. I could probably do with another um, stone cutter, so let's train one of those. <clears throat> do they eat as much as they did before? Uh, they do. However, they will go and get it from the nearest storehouse, uh, even if it's physically stored somewhere else. So that's one thing that I want to do, because to prevent the workers that are over completed. here having to travel all the way back to our supply wagon. So I'm going to build, I think... Storehouse, I think, over here. And then they should get that. Right, let's get our tailor. Now, have we got enough stone? No, we haven't. Nor do we. Oh, wood, uh, planks won't be a problem. And stone, we do need them to sort of get a move on, so let's see if we can help them out a little bit by recruiting Simon and Ronald. <clears throat> That's Simon just arrived. Ronald's on his way still. You can see him just running in there. All right, good. So I'll demote these guys once we've got some more stone. Oh, yeah, that's one of the bugs I was talking about. It was missing, uh, missing gear. Alright, uh, the reason why I'm creating a few buildings is because I want to show you the uh, building upgrades. Uh, I've not actually tested the... Oh, well, let's just cheat. Right, let's give ourselves some resources. And then we can crack on with this for the purpose of the stream. So let's put a storehouse there. What else don't we have? We haven't got a blacksmith yet, have we? So let's go and build a blacksmith there. We've got a woodcutter, so we've got a fishing. Well, we don't have a monastery, do we? So let's go and put our monastery. I think our monastery should be here. Put some bee yards down. Oops, that's a field. Not a bee yard. Good. Maybe. That's interesting. Oh, that's a bee yard that I built, isn't it? <coughs> Okay, what else do we need? Uh, we've got a weaver's hut, we've got a storehouse, herbalist den. Let's get a herbalist den going. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's build that out to there. Build that out to there. And then we can connect this together. So let's. Not enough planks. Ah, oh, hurry up with the planks. A building has been constructed. Is it? Which one? Where? Oh, okay, right, a storehouse. So I'm hoping that these guys, rather than going... Which one's shorter, do you think? That's, that's probably slightly shorter. They should start getting food from here. At least the um, herbalist should. Okay, good. We've got another cottage on the go. How do you get rabbits on your map? Um, at the moment, it's a cheat. So they were enabled briefly, and then they were disabled uh, because they needed to be set up as prefabs. But we haven't re-enabled them yet. Um, so it's no, there's no secret trick or anything like that. Uh, I, 
I suppose you could actually use work. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Instantiate at uh, to use workbench to, to get at them initially until we've set them up at least as kit pieces. Right. New settlers have arrived. Come on. <coughs> Construction Something complete. Good. Jocelyn's going to help. Cotton, yes, we've got plenty of cotton. And that looks like Gavin and uh, New villagers have arrived. Oh good, alright, there you go. So we've produced one basic clothing, so that's alright. She's got 37 of those, so that's not a problem at all. What size? 183. I'm not sure it's been enabled yet. <clears throat> right. I think while we're waiting for those, uh, Got enough wood now. Building completed. What else have we built? Barracks. Hundred wood. No. Let's get some more resources. Building completed. Uh, to, to just Someone has become Our sick. Our village has attracted new settlers. Let's build the workshop. I've not really looked at the workshop because since uh, the a building has been not, constructed, uh, fully functional. I don't think I can fit it in there, can I? Just gonna have to go over here. There you go. Slot in there. <clears throat> Construction Mirabelle, completed. You come and be a herbalist. Grow some herbs. Right, so this is a known bug, so the, the lot on um, the lower detail models are broken on the uh, herbless. Building model. completed. Oops, alright. <laughs> Settlers have arrived field. looking for a Just fresh stuff. food. Let's grab somebody else then. Tristan. Tristan Fourthwind, you can be a herbalist as well. What now? Right, Building completed. <clears throat> so we have barracks. Let's go ahead and set it to not auto recruit. But at the moment, it's only enabled for four. Uh, but if we upgrade it, new settlers have arrived. It will become. It should open up to eight. So let's do that now. As I say, it's instant at the moment. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. And there's no cost, so it's just a, an instant visual upgrade. <clears throat> and now you see it's showing one of eight. So I'm hoping maybe something. Yeah. Okay. So now actually, new villagers have arrived. Uh, can we go? Yes. <gasps> Training this person will leave you without any peasants. <clears throat> Yes, Petal. All right, my love. Yes, my dear. All right. How can I help? <clears throat> Boom! Yeah, six of eight. Our village has attracted new settlers. Let's just turn on uh, auto recruit. Something to do? <clears throat> well, I mean, I should probably have set, you know, trained some of them as. Um, yes, Petal. What are they called? Arbalists. Well, go ahead. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh Send start. Send these guys for the, to their deaths. Let's go and tackle the spider nest up here. Oh, we've got a rare one. New settlers have arrived. All right. All right, my love. Whatever. Go up there. Uh, is it? Go over there. Fight. <clears throat> I don't think they're going to win this one somehow. <laughs> I 
new villagers have arrived. They're doing all right, considering, but okay. So they're all they're all dead now. So they'll come back as villagers. And... Right. So let's see what else we can upgrade. So our village has attracted new settlers. Our herbalists. Let's upgrade to tier, uh, the tier two herbalists. Best viewed from this side. And if I can see it, you've got sort of a nice little glass effect on the, the green. Settlers house. have arrived looking for a fresh start. So it's it's very early days with the building upgrades. <clears throat> uh, that's a bug. So let's try the weavers. New huts. settlers have arrived. Let's go ahead. Upgrade that. Need bags of cotton. Not bags. Half cotton. Right. Uh, New villagers have arrived. Upgrade the stone cutter's hut. So that gets a new crane. Pipe? Did it have a pipe before? I can't remember. Upgrade. Now, actually looking at this, one I know one uh, a lot of work that's been going on has been on... Oh, I'm seeing some flicker there, actually. I guess the LODs aren't set up. Um, it's been on the little workbenches that are dotted around uh, on the buildings. So this one has uh, a sewing machine. Uh, a wooden, wooden sewing machine. Uh, and if we upgrade that, I think that becomes this sort of like, I don't know, metal contraption thing. I don't think I'd want to put my hands near that though, would you? Uh, so that is our tier two tail uh, tailor's emporium. A bit of flicker, but nothing to worry about. I think you'll be going boom quite a lot to uh, downward in this. Uh, let's have a tier two cottage. It's bigger. Uh, what have we got here? That's the blacksmith. Now, I know the animation has been done for this, but it's obviously not incorporated at the moment. Tools and everything. Nice detail. <clears throat> so, you ready for another boom? Right, there you go. So, the machine uh, is upgraded as well. And we've now got a uh, brick furnace going on the side. Uh, this is on its way to being animated. <clears throat> the bellows. What else is there? The bellows and the, that machine are the main ones. Terms of work points. Uh, the butchery. Let's upgrade the butchery. All right, so here's our T2 butchery. I should probably flick into daytime so you guys can see this a little bit better. <clears throat> so we have, uh, I think there's various work points around here. I think there's something to do here. I can't remember exactly. You can expect all those to come soon. Fishing hut. Now, there's a visual glitch on this tier too, so some, you're going to get some white boxes. Just prepare me for that. So <clears throat> you'll notice then that the building got a lot bigger and that is why uh, you can't place buildings, tier one buildings, too close to each other um, because by the time they reach tier three you've got some pretty big buildings um, and if, if we allowed you to do this on tier one then they'd just be intersecting horrible. So, 
Oh yes, we haven't built a tavern, have we? So why don't we go ahead and do that. Uh, I guess it'll have to be over here. Near the barracks. Seems a good place than they so I'll let them build that while we carry on. Alright, so the hunting lodge. A little ladder. <clears throat> I think that's is that a skinning that might be a skinning work point possibly. story I think and it's got a new fire we've just got to sort out the light there it's got a new oven it's a bit bigger like a portable portable stove monastery okay let's upgrade you Bonk. oh you got much bigger Bell in there. Lots and lots of windows. Woodcutters huts. Let's see what you look like. Ooh. A building has been constructed. So we've got now got sort of these um, wood chippings. We've got some more, a little bit more work to do on that. Right. Uh, let's work our way over here. Oh, it's too much grumbling. Tavern. Let's see. Now, I think this gets very big, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. It's got some like kegs outside. There's the entrance. All right. Uh, what have we got here? The workshop. I don't know if that's in or not. It is. All right. What have we got going on in the workshop? It's not really a building that we've spent a lot of time uh, doing. Uh, it really of use at the moment because the <coughs> engineer, <coughs> excuse me, engineer needs his abilities to be able to build traps. Blueprints. Some of this I've not seen uh, in a long, long time. Or at all, even. Ooh. Nice. Alright, storehouse. Let's go ahead and upgrade the storehouse. to be animated at the moment. Oh, it just seems to be waving around in the wind. <clears throat> I wonder if that'll do something if we hang around and watch. Or maybe that's just a sort of blowing in the wind animation. I don't know. You'll, ha you'll have to spend some time and watch. I'm sure they'll be listed in patch notes. Uh, Alright, so what haven't we done? Upgrade a few of our cottages. To get an idea of what a tier two town would look like. Right, so this is our tier two town. <clears throat> I 
Now, tier 2 is pretty strong. I quite like tier 2. Tier 3, I'm not so keen on at the moment. I think we need to make some changes to that. But let's go ahead now. Uh, I'll swap to daytime. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So let's go ahead and upgrade now. I tell you what, we'll go the way that we did sort of before. So let's go ahead and upgrade to the tier 3 barracks. And now, if I go to workers. Sorry. Get rid of that text. We've now got three more. We haven't got any people, but. Uh, yes, my dear. And this will go with. Maybe we, should, we can build some tier three wall. I've not tried that actually. Uh, all right, I guess I'm out of stone. So anyway, while they are building that. <laughs> You're going to stop saying boom each time. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Okay, so the tavern. Tier 3 tavern. I think it's mostly got a new roof. Might be a little bit higher. Bit of an outbuilding. I think I want to change the colour on the roof. I'm not so keen on the old terracotta. Uh, workshop. Upgrade. Some sort of that broken one of those sewing machines from the tailor. Not quite sure. <clears throat> oh. oh, excuse the flicker. Looks like we've got a little engine and a handle. Nice that those cogs working. Good in unison. Upgrade the storehouse. So a bigger crane. Uh, some balconies and stuff. Oh, got like some little peep through windows in there. <coughs> Herbalist Den. Three herbalist there. As you can see, all the little herbs growing in the greenhouse. This is a bit dark. <clears throat> Potions in the window. Uh, tier three cottages aren't working at the moment, so I will skip those. Tier 3 Weaver's Hut. Okay, I think there's a bug with that at the moment because I can't select it and do anything with it. Nice interesting over the windows. I think this is set up to work as well. Um, we'll come back to that later. What have we got here? Tier 3. Gosh, there's a lot of it, isn't it? it took a long time to make all this content. Got some sort of cogs going on in. A little bit of flicker on it so it's not quite set up properly. Maybe it's not hitting the last one. That is a supercharged sewing machine. Uh, lots of nice tapestries and things. Lots of cotton. Nice. Tier 3 blacksmith. Let's go. Whoa, that's got tall. Supercharged hammer <clears throat> and all of that will be animated at some point. I've seen the animations for that, it's just not in the game at the moment. Alright. What have we got here? The butchery. Upgrade to tier 3. Let's go back to daytime. So I've got 
Got some fencing. Big cleaver in the roof. Shows the butchery. Let's spin around. Tier three. Alright, it's got taller. Oh, we've got a little boat under there. Canoe, kayak, boat, and then what's called. Okay, onto the bakery. Uh, so just a reminder, this isn't how you will uh, upgrading will take far longer than this. This is just testing so we can fix up all the assets. Tower. Oh, the end with the wall. I don't know why, but they didn't seem to build that bit at the back. <clears throat> no, there's only one guy working there, that's why. Doing a sterling job, mate. Carry on. Monastery. Let's see what the tier 3 monastery looks like. Bang! Whoa! So tall. Come down to the ground here. Start looking around. Uh, the last tier of wall. Well, this is the last tier of walls, um, and the wooden ones are the tier below it. And then the, there'll be another tier that isn't done yet, which is like a more simple, a simple wall. Uh, I think what we need is more people, or maybe we just need to fire all these lot. So let's go ahead and turn off auto recruit and just make all of you guys go and build me some walls. Alright, of course we can have a nice big fat trebuchet on here and you can type take care of the spiders. Let's put another one on here. Ha! Spiders, you've got no chance. Lovely. I've got loot, thanks very much. And eventually you'll be able to upgrade the um, ammo and stuff on these as you research things at the, I believe it's at the workshop. Not enough stone blocks. Not enough stone blocks. All right, now we're getting on, doing all right. Where did I get to with upgrading? What have I missed? I've missed the woodcutter's huts. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Tier three, woodcutter's huts. Everything's a lot taller. They're all a lot wealthier. Oh, tier three, hunting lodge. So they built uh, the cottages I can't do at the moment. <clears throat> and then there's obviously buildings that we've not implemented yet, <coughs> like the crooked cauldron. Those assets are ready, they just stop being incorporated into the game. Because what we need, um, we need the jeweler so to be able to craft rough gems that you find in loot and get us quest rewards into gems which can then be enchanted so it's really waiting for the RP some of the RPG content to be added all right so let's go ahead and build a bit more get some resources build a bit more wall Let's put a gatehouse in here. And we'll have some steps up here. And Kevin, you can be a guy. 
Alright, so more buildings and stuff. That's how the building upgrades are looking. Change the camera speed. And I can walk around a bit more slowly and get a good feel for the place. <clears throat> That's it. So we'll walk around, then we'll swap to nighttime. Oh, kind of some buzzing. I guess there's some bee yards somewhere. Yep, there are the bee yards. The bees. We've got our trebuchet is up there. Oh. We go a bit faster. All right. So yeah, it's coming along. A lot of content coming in this patch. Let's go ahead and take a walk down to our. Taylor's Emporium. Now, when we said we add in all the voice acting for all of the characters as well, obviously as they walk um, <clears throat> as they walk past you, they'll be saying things as well. So it will start to feel a lot more alive. Uh, my screen went black. Yes, it did. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why that was. <coughs> was it like that for long? So that's how it's looking. All right, so that is a good point to jump into um, Workbench and see how we've put this together. Farm walls cannot be upgraded. Yeah, no, they can't. All right, so let's uh, exit to the main menu. And let's go into the map designer. Just while that's loading, I'll grab another lozenge. All right, let's open that tutorial. Let's have a look at some of the new nodes that uh, we've added to Workbench. I think the number of nodes is like, I don't know, I'm only guessing, I think it's at least doubled. So, we are looking at the start of the tutorial. If you remember, we had a little bit of introductory text that told us, um, you know, how to move the camera around. So everything starts with uh, a start node. It's the entry point for the system. I'll just delay it for three seconds after the game starts, just give everything a chance to um, catch up and load. Uh, and we're saying that if the player, or has the player uh, completed construction of, it's called initial building at the moment, but it's actually the um, supply wagon. So if, if it's false, so if they haven't, then I can get rid of these actually now. So let's optimize this as we go. So if they haven't, we want to run this first line 
uh, of dialogue. So I say, welcome to our new village. Let's practice moving around. Moving the mouse to the edge of the screen will move you in that direction. And then we've got one option that they can click off, which is continue. Or I could say another option. And finally, oh, well, we wouldn't do it like entitled kids are going to find this one. All right. So I need to connect uh, all of our options up. So we've got one, two, three. So I need to connect up one, two, and three. Um, it's just to give you an idea of the progression on it. And then we're saying, um, have they built, let's say the same again, have they built the supply wagon? If they haven't, so if false, then I'm using a sequence just to uh, branch off to none of the things. It's saying the first step in establishing our new village is to place a supply wagon. And we've just got one continue. So this is just a chain. It, th this conversation gets fired at the same time because of the sequencing node as um, quest. Now this is new that you guys won't have seen. So this is our first quest. It's called uh, Grumbling Bellies. Uh, and the first part of that quest is to place a supply wagon. So we have a uh, a pass condition. So for enabled, the, for, it's basically a complete condition so the condition to be able to complete the sub quest and a sub quest isn't just an item that appears under the main quest header so you can have multiple quest uh, sub quests <coughs> excuse me we're saying uh, they need to have placed the supply wagon and when they've done that so a sub quest when will evaluate it's just like a when node in that it evaluates the condition once per frame. And when the condition has been met, then we can progress. So then what we're doing is this particular bit is talking about berries and it wants us to harvest berries and get rid of these. That was from earlier when the sounds weren't playing, so I was just using that to uh, actually, I didn't want to get rid of those because they'll be used to trigger the voice acting. Although we are talking about adding the voice acting in here. So much like the sound node, oops, sound node, where I can add in the tutorial uh, voiceover tutorial, I don't know, nine. Oh, well done. Now move some of our villagers close to the faction flag until it To reduce the number of nodes that are colors. on screen. We'll when the flag is at the top of the pole, we gain control of the resource and our miner can start extracting ore. Now, Workbench is laggy at the moment because it's the, ward, uh, the wire drawing code. It's not optimised at the moment. so um, It's not a priority at the moment. But yeah, that's, that's the only reason. It's just not being optimised at the moment. Have you thought about the cinematic option for dialogue? Um, I've not thought about it more at the moment. We're just sort of early days of implementing all the questing stuff. It's it's something that we could perhaps do. Um, okay, and then we've, I've got another quest here, which is to forage for ten berries. So you'll you'll know if I just come back here that this quest actually has two parts. The first part is to place a supply wagon, and the second part is to forage for ten berries. And then when we complete that. So when we've completed the second part of the quest, it will close and we'll go up here and do a condition check ready for this. So what I'm doing is I'm actually skip this part here is skipping all of this dialogue if we've already done it. So if I already have been messing around and like I was in the stream earlier, I'd actually gone and chopped down enough trees for it to complete, it will skip all the dialogue. So it just jumps to the uh, the last sub quest condition. Uh, subquest when it evaluates this condition which it says uh, the plank count needs to be greater or equal to 25 and then it will continue on and that's pretty much a pattern that we repeat for much of it 
Um, it does vary a little bit as we go, so you can see more conversation. Uh, these will just be voice acted lines. Uh, this is the check to see whether they've already built, uh, so already trained a woodcutter, so if they were messing around and not following the tutorial. We also need to think about that and breaking conditions. Okay. Um, this isn't for everybody. This is for level designers, really. And it's always good to know what's going on under the hood. All right. Uh, so this is when I gave uh, gave them some extra planks, some extra resources, some stone, and some iron ingots. Nothing particularly uh, different from what we've done before. Just train, so build a uh, fisherman's hut and train a fisher. Uh, it's pretty much all the same, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to skip towards the end. We really need zoom. Well, one, it needs to be optimized, and we really need a zoom adding as well. Um, the hunting lodge right this is talking about the uh, kobolds go and kill the three kobolds so remember that I what I did was I spawned or I triggered the wave spawn outside the mine so that the kobolds would actually appear uh, I framed the camera so the camera panned into position so that you could uh, I could draw the players attention to that area um, that can be deleted Although it'll be a voice acted uh, voice acted line, and then we've got the actual acceptance of the quest, and then we've got the triggering of the quest, which makes it appear in the quest side. And that's all there is, really. I mean, it, I know it kind of looks a bit complicated with all the wires and stuff, but when you're laying out, it's really not. However, let and um, I'm going to load in an unedited map with no script. And let's have a look at some of the other features that we've got. Uh, so we've got a fresh workbench here. One thing that we've added to the systems kit, if I just go down to the systems kit, is that we now have points. Now, I personally think they're a little bit odd at the moment because the pivot point is in the centre of the... If you deselect it, it's in the centre of the point rather than at the tip. That's so that rotation can happen and make sense, but I still feel it should be at the end of the tip. Any who's. You can, the important thing is you can get a position and a rotation from this. So if I say, let's send this with some sort of, I don't know, workbench with potion making on it or whatever I could say right I want when the game starts let's say you let's just put a delay in there three seconds let everything give everything a chance to start and then I want um, a, a spawned character which is the person that I've selected so if I just swap you'll see here that I've actually got this present selected. So I'm going to say for you, for the male puppy fab, and I want you to go. I think it's order move. Yeah. I'm going to order move. Oh, hang on. That's an input. So let's move it up there. Put in the target. We want to run this order move. Uh, the position. Oh. Uh, is it position? Yep. I don't think they've had a transform node yet, have they, for both? The position. Let's go ahead and select that point. Let's make sure I've got it. Yep. Okay. The position I want you to get from the, the point, and we'll also add a rotation. I 
thought I saw a rotation on there. Maybe I was imagining it. Maybe it's not in yet. Okay, anyway. Get a position from there. Let me just see in terms of the nodes. Where are we? So we'll, we'll do this slightly differently. Well, I'll leave that there for now. Hang on. Oh, wrong thing. Is this what I want to select? So I want you to walk to the point. So it looks like we're missing a rotation node, but then you, you would feed that into a rotation so that they would walk under the line to a, a, a correct rotation. All right, and then it should stop. Um, but what I will also do at the same time is let's create another point. And I think what I will do Right, so rotation node is not included at the moment. Uh, can one make an order move on in-game spawn units? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to instantiate. Uh, so let's put a sequence node in. Actually, no, uh, let's do it after, once it's reached the point. We're going to instantiate something. We need a position, which I've got this one selected. So let's feed that position. Oops. At object, uh, maybe we need a world up. Mm, I guess you can't spawn at a position at the moment. Let's have a look. Oh, you can. There we go. Right. So complete. Use the current position. Uh, prefab uh, world object, maybe. No. Aaron, can you help me out? What well, um, I want to create cobalt. Say, let's have a look. I've not used these too much at the moment. Let's figure it out. Uh, it's not a field, is it? Oh, prefab. Right, there we go. Uh, cobalt. So we've set the prefab to be a cobalt. It's going to spawn at that position. <coughs> and it's going to run. Uh, I don't know, play a sound. I don't know, created. I don't really know what that is for, but that's when it's completed. Let's play a sound. I don't know, like a negative sound effect. All right. And then a combat should start. So let's go ahead now and save that. frame it properly. Alright, so what we're expecting to do is for this fella to walk over to this arrow, when he arrives we're expecting the cobalt to uh, spawn here. So let's go and try that now. <coughs> Don't worry, this will all be documented and added to the guide. I've just got to familiarise myself with it first. Alright, 
stops in three seconds. Oh, right, it didn't reach it. <laughs> I'll have to check this. Let's have this look at the script. Oh, I put. It, um, oh, I've reached. I meant to put it into reach. I don't think I can run that in this. Oh, there we go. Now when he arrives. There we go. All right. <clears throat> All right, my love. All right. Moise Let's move him over there, and we'll run that again. Just on oh, my way. Sure. So one of these guys was going to walk over here when he arrives, because we've just changed it, and it's going to spawn. All right. So we'll we'll run it. It's just the delay starting. He, one of them's going to walk over. He's going to walk over when he arrives. Cobalt's going to appear here. Boom. That's it. To do all that, we just needed a couple of uh, nodes. All right. Uh, so we can do some other things as well. Let's go back into the editor. Let's try a trigger. So let's get rid of this. So it's going to arrive, uh, and when he reaches that point, uh, actually, no, let's do something else. So, what I need to do is find triggers which. Uh, I don't know if they'll be inclined as they systems, presumably then will they? Trigger, yeah. Okay, so let's insert a trigger into the world. At the moment, uh, spheres are supported, but we will be adding uh, cubes later, so we can scale up the trigger. So we can leave and walk into that point. Uh, let's say... There, so it's actually going to trigger here when he walks into it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is the bit I don't know now, so I'm going to have to ask uh, Aaron, who's in stream. Oh, got to go again. Damn. Right. Uh, I don't know. Is the, uh, I think there's a trigger. Right. The trigger. Use the selected. So when a friendly unit walks into it. I don't think we have to start this one. I think it just happens when the trigger uh, characters. Uh, right. So when it triggers that characters is what is a condition. I guess that's a list of characters. All ah, right. Okay. So list of characters. No, no, because it would be a list, wouldn't it? So for each, for each character. Here we go. All right. So for each character that tr is uh, has triggered the trigger, uh, we do need to run that. So uh, let's put a sequence. A sequence, and let's break that. So we want two things to run in parallel. We want this order the move. And we want this trigger <clears throat> to run. And for each character that uh, trigger, we can order them to move. All right, order move. <coughs> uh, is that the position? That's the other position point, isn't it? Yeah. So the result, we want you to run to there. Uh, iteration. Right, 
So the character, so for every character, we want it to order them to move to that new position. And they can be walking. And when they've reached it, let's play a sound which is like uh, positive. All right. Let's just check that. So let's save that. So now, when the character touches this, they should actually head off in a different direction. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, let's give it a go. New game. <coughs> it's all right, I can figure most of the stuff out. I think there are little helpers down in the bottom right corner as well uh, that we should have been paying attention to. But the colour coding really helps. Right, so that fella should work over and then head off. Yeah, everybody's cross your fingers. There he goes. He's walking before he gets there. Oh, all right, he didn't do it. <laughs> Uh, what have I done wrong there then? <clears throat> so we did the sequence. Trigger. She walked to there then, didn't he? Uh, let's run that again. So he's going to walk back there. Hmm. Let's see. It's ordering to move before he's actually moved. So this is maybe shouldn't be sequenced. Ah, wait, hang on, let's do this. Maybe not. No, not that. I'll tell you what we'll do instead. I'm not doing something right here. All right, my love. If you All right, dear. Here. Nope. I've got to trigger it somehow. Maybe we'll just do it on the complete. Right, let's try that. Right away. Yep, my pleasure. Yes, my dear. Okay. No. All right, well, I'm doing something wrong. Whatever. Uh, we'll figure it out. And then it'll be put up as an example on the guide. Um, so if I go onto the website, <coughs> and then uh, under the guides, workbench guides, <coughs> excuse me, under the common tasks. Uh, so like NPC dialed, for example, we'll put it there as an example of how to do it. Once I've actually figured out and been shown what to do. So what else have we got? What are the nodes? Uh, let's head back into the editor. That didn't work particularly well, did it? <laughs> Should have really rehearsed that. Uh, go into the editor.
Let's use this trigger for something else. Let's forget the, the moving stuff. Let's use it to trigger and actually instantiate some stuff. So, um, there's a delay. Let's not order you to move anywhere. Just run. It must. It must trigger. Uh, I don't want to order move. What I want to actually do is instantiate. Uh, the prefab was a cobalt. Um, we wanted to do it at this position here. Or maybe we'll just do it over. Oh, that's interesting. That's a bug. Instantiate position. Get that. Feed that into the position. Prefab we've set. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if we send multiple characters, that I guess what we need to do is some sort of loop so that. Nah. Uh, yeah, I'd have to think about that because it's only going to trigger once. I think. If we wanted it to continually trigger, I don't know, maybe we would need to... I suppose we could do a loop, couldn't we? So we could say loop uh, count, loop once. Uh, just, let's just say it's when it's complete. I want you to instantiate. No, 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 iteration, that's it. Iteration. We want you to instantiate somebody. Right. So the delay, if the trigger's triggered by friendly units for each one of those characters, this is a bit I might be doing wrong. For each one, I don't think I need this actually. I think I just need to do iteration run. Yeah, for each character, iterate and create a cobalt at that position. Okay. Let's save that. We'll give that a go. Yeah, it's <laughs> somebody's got to go through the initial learning process, which is me. I'll just turn the music there, uh, and then I've got to document it. So Aaron knows how it all works. So I've got to talk to him, find out how it all works, and then uh, all right, my love. send all of those. All right, dear. This trigger's not working, is it? <laughs> I've said it wrong. Away. Something's not working. On my way. Ta-ta. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you get the you get the uh, theory anyway. It's a shame he's had to leave, but um, I'll document this and get it working, and then we can take a look at it end of the time. Uh, so, what are the? I know we're in the um, player at the moment. What else have we got? Uh, we have got. Um, well, let's have a look. Let's go down one by one. Damage is if you want to wound somebody. <clears throat> so you could you could choose one of the spawn characters. Yes, my dear. Uh, <coughs> I can't actually set it up because I can't select them. But you can actually inflict. Um, you'd be able to inflict different types of damage, but I don't know, maybe you want to inflict thirty damage when some explosion goes off or something. You can do that. Or you could use for, uh, for each character, maybe. Uh, 
and cause some damage. Uh, name of is for giving the character name, I think. Time of day, all characters. Gets all characters in the world. Uh, trigger count, don't want that. Version. Uh, there's some string formatting and stuff you can do. So if you want to, um, I'm trying to remember why you do this now. So you can put uh, collect and there's a parameter of five if you're collecting berries. And if we had a quest sub part, uh, we could create that into the name. a number so the number convert it to a string send the result in oop, send the result into a format that formats it hang on no that's the format it's that what I wanted to do that's it click zero or five and then you can put that into the sub part so every time uh you collect a berry or something like that, then it'll tick it up and it'll actually update it. So we've got some string formatting in there. Triggers cannot be selected right now, so make sure you don't... De ah, right, okay. Right, make sure you don't deselect it. So this one... Oh, all right. Let's head back into the editor. So apparently I left... A Aaron left me a little hint before he had to go, which was that triggers can't be selected at the moment, which is, I think, where I went wrong. So it wasn't human error after all. Yeah, apparently you can't select triggers at the moment. <clears throat> so let's create one over here. And I have to leave it selected. So trigger, scale it up, come in here. Hopefully that's got it. Let's create it again. Trigger. You selected. I thought I did that before. I know. So anyway, while I, <clears throat> we'll see if that works. But while we're doing it, what else can we do? Uh, got the various lists of things. Uh, so I, if I've got like eight points around, uh, let's do that now. So. Uh, List world objects, uh, and I can say, all right, let's grab that point there into element zero, and this point here into there, and then I've got a list of objects that I can work with. So imagine you walk into like some summoning room in a dungeon, and there are eight points around a circle or something, or, or five or whatever, and you wanted something to trigger, like maybe you want to trigger some skeletons at those positions, so it's just an easy way. Uh, and then I think you can go for each world object. <laughs> and then for each object that's in that list, I could then do something with each of them. So that's... Uh, another way of scripting, so you could have like monsters being summoned at key positions or effects going off, all that sort of thing. Uh, store is a way of storing variables uh, so this could be like uh, my variable uh, and I don't know count uh, 
inventory cap. So how many uh, seeds have I got at the moment? Uh, actually, you can't do this at the moment. Sorry, that is a bug. <laughs> it's not a bug. It's going to need a different thing. Uh, Aaron explained it to me earlier. You can't do that at the moment. But anyway, there's a way to set and uh, also get uh, various variables. So my variable. So it might not be working fully at the moment, but that's the sort of thing that's coming. Um, so you'll be able to track your own variables. What else have we got? Preload assets. Now, this is quite important. So <clears throat> if we wanted to summon, say, Moss Claw, if you instantiate it without it being loaded, there's quite often a, uh, there'll be a, like a lag while it loads, decompresses the textures, transfers the mesh onto the... Uh, um, well, not to the graphics cards, but it basically loads it into memory and uh, decompresses it. You don't really want to be doing that at the point because it's going to, you're going to end up with a slight delay and a, like a stutter. So what you want to do is, if you know that you are triggering uh, assets that don't exist in your scene already, uh, so for example, kobolds uh, didn't exist in the tutorial, then what I could do is I could actually tell it to um, preload the asset. So right at the start, I could say, I have a sequence. And I could say, actually I don't need the sequence. I could just say, as soon as you start, preload that asset and then run. <clears throat> and that will preload in the cobalt. So that it's it's available instantly to be able to create in the world. <coughs> uh, okay, so let's get rid of this because we don't need this. Give it a go. Save. Uh, yeah, we. I've now tested it, and it's uh, in terms of workbench uh, scripts, the state of them being saved correctly. It's not at the moment. Um, I spoke a bit too soon. So it was, it was, we thought we'd fixed it, and then I went and tested it, and then it turns out we hadn't. <clears throat> so, yeah, that, it's obviously important that we do that. Okay. So... All right, my love. I don't know, three All right, it over here. My pleasure. Right away. No, okay. for whatever reason, Our triggers aren't work working. Never done. But you get the idea of what it would meant Be to right do. there, darling. Busy, busy, busy. I can't remember what the hell I was meant to do there. Alright. Is something weird's going on? Alright, dear. Right away. Let's just on my way. Try running that. Maybe it has to be primed Ta -ta. and then we trigger it. Okay. Really? No. A woman's work is never done. Be That's right there, darling. Busy, busy, well, busy. I don't know what's going on. That's a bug that needs fixing. All right, how are we doing? I think it's probably. Uh, a good place to wrap up the stream. Um, <clears throat> just a quick note about 4K. I don't know. I doubt anybody has actually got uh, a 4K monitor yet, but we are future-proofing. Uh, 4K gaming is become uh, going to become more prevalent. <clears throat> you need a fairly top-end machine to do it, um, but we are testing for that and making sure that you can scale the UI uh, and everything works at 4K. Uh, and that's all, that all seems to be working great so far. Just a couple of things that we've spotted, <coughs> which we'll fix. That's just something we're getting ready for. Um, 
All right, so lots and lots to take in this stream. Um, number of bugs that we've obviously found as well, which we'll aim to get fixed. Uh, as I say, we're working towards the release of patch 0.3 at the start of May, possibly sooner, um, but around that sort of time frame. Lots of improvements to Workbench. Uh, we've got the Tier 2 and Tier 3 building upgrades in there. And we've got the Sandbox tutorial for beginners as well. So a lot coming on there. We're also, something that I wasn't able to show in this is that we're also working on getting Sir Gregory in uh, and working. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get him done in the time that we've got between now and um, a few days before um, patch. But it'll be cool to actually see him there and the first hit hero working as well. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for joining us. I hope uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the stream uh, and I will probably see you again uh, let's see uh, around the well end of the month I would say uh, just before or on the day of the patch and we'll run through take a look at everything and hopefully it should all be working then uh, and yeah we should look forward to getting 0.32 thanks very much have a great week guys bye bye